Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the latest Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Lite and in this video I am going to show you 20 powerful features for this tablet. So let's start. The first feature is about multitasking. So you can open three different apps at same time and you can work on all of these apps together. So for example here I am browsing this website and I also want to take my notes. So I will take out this edge panel and then from here I will open my notes in split screen. And now I will start taking my notes and in the meantime I can also browse this website as well. Same way you can also open another app. So I will take out this taskbar and then from here I will drag and drop this app here in split screen and now you can work on all of these apps together so you can work on your notes you can browse through this website and you can also scroll through this app as well the next thing is you can also drag content from a website to your notes so for example I want this text in my notes so I will use my S Pen I will start selecting this text so I will select it till here then I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can also highlight this text as well you can also resize these apps as well so you can use your pen and you can see here I can easily resize these apps you can also change the position of these apps so you have to select these three dots and from here you can change the position of these apps you can also make your favorite app combo so again you have to select from middle and then here we have this star icon so you can select it and then you can add app air to taskbar home screen or apps edge panel so for example I will select apps edge panel and then I will close these apps now I want to reopen these apps together so I will take out this edge panel and then from here I will open these three apps pair and these apps will open together the next feature is about Samsung math solver so I open Samsung notes and here I will start writing this equation 3 raised to the power 2 plus 4 brackets close minus square root of 49 divided by 2 raised to the power 2 brackets close and then here I will write this equal sign so after writing this equal sign Samsung math solver will automatically generate this answer the next thing is you can also convert this math equation into a neat math equation so you have to use this selection tool and then you have to make your selection so I will select this equation and then from here you have to select these three dots and here we have this option of convert to maths so I will select convert to maths and then I will select convert so here you can see the same equation is now turned into a neat math equation and now you can use it in other platforms as well the next feature is about adding web page to notes for example I open this website and now I want this website inside my notes so I open my notes in split screen and then from here I will open a new note and you can see we have this option of link and whole page so I will select this whole page option and then it will start adding this whole website to my notes you just have to wait for a few seconds and here you can see the whole website is now available inside my notes with same images and same text as well now if you want you can use all of these note taking tools so you can use this highlighter if you want to write something on this website you can write over here as well you can also create different shapes inside this website as well the next thing is you can also use page sorter option as well so here we have this page sorter option it will show you all the pages for this website you can jump to any page from here you can also add or delete any page so for example I want to add a new page after this page so I will select these three dots and here is the option of add page so I will select this add page option and then you can select the page template and here you can see a new page has been added so this is how you can add a web page to your notes you can also use this book cover keyboard for this tablet so it comes in two different parts so you can see the keyboard and here is the back side so you can easily attach this back cover and here we also have the storage for S Pen 
you can also open this kickstand and you can adjust it to any position and now I will attach it to the keyboard the next thing is you can use Samsung Dex so Samsung Dex will give you a complete desktop experience and here you can open multiple apps at same time and you can work on all these apps together you can also resize these apps as well so please note that you have to buy this book cover keyboard separately the next feature is about screen of memo for example your tablet is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important so just press this s pen button and then tap on the screen one time like this it will open screen of memo and here you can write anything important once you finish with your writing you can select this save option your screen memo will automatically save to your notes and later you can access it the next feature is about Samsung ecosystem so whatever I copy on one Samsung device it will also be available on my Galaxy Tab S10 Lite for example I will take out this edge panel and here you can see the clipboard is currently empty now for example I open a website on this Samsung device and I like this image and I want to copy this image so I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this option of copy image now the same image will be available on on my tab s10 Lite as well so this time if I take out this clipboard and here you can see the same image is available over here now I can also use it inside my notes so I will open my notes and then I will take out this edge panel and I can easily drag and drop this image to my notes and later if you want you can also edit this image as well the next feature is about AI select tool so you can use this tool to capture any specific part of your screen so for example I want to capture this part of my screen I will use AI select tool so I will open air command and then from here I will open AI select and then I will use my S Pen to make my selection so I will start selecting this image and now you can do a lot of things so you can save it to your gallery you can edit it and you can also so pin it to your screen I will select this pin option so here you can see the same image is now pinned to my screen now I will go back from this app and you can see the image is pinned to my screen and I can also access other apps as well one more thing I want to mention here is below this video you see this like button if you press it like this it will change its color you can try this experiment the next feature is about Gemini 4 screen for example here I have this image and I want to extract all of these labelings from this image and I want to convert it into tabular form so I will use Gemini first of all I will press and hold this side key so I will press and hold it it will open Gemini and then here you can see we have this option of ask about screen so I will select it it will take a screenshot for this page and then here you can start writing your prompt so I will write here extract text and convert it into table and then I will send this prompt so Gemini will start analyzing my prompt and then it will extract all of this text and convert it into tabular form so here you can see the final result so you can see over here and now you can use it in other platforms as well the next feature is about notes on videos for example you are having a lecture or you are watching some kind of video and you want to take notes in the meantime so just press this s pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this it will open samsung notes so here you can start taking your notes and you can also watch this video the next thing is you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind so what you can do you can select this gray color bar and then you can use split screen option and now you can continue on your note taking and you can also watch your video you can also drag any object from this video to your notes for example I want to drag this table from this video so first of all I will pause this video and then you can use your S Pen so I will press and hold it like this and then I can easily drag and drop it to my notes and later if you want you can also edit it you can also do a screen 
screen recording of your note taking and your video so you just have to bring down this quick panel and then from here you have to select this option of screen recorder and then from here you have to select start recording so after this countdown your screen recording will start the next thing is for example you want to highlight anything important in your screen you can use this pen tool from screen recorder and now you can highlight anything important in your screen you can also turn on the front camera so here we have this front camera option I will select it and here you can see the front camera is now turned on you can also change the position of this front camera as well once you finish with your screen recording you can select this stop option your screen recording will automatically save to your gallery later you can edit it and you can share it you can also use this tablet for note taking so you can use samsung notes and here we have these amazing note taking tools you can use this highlighter tool you can also create neat shapes so here you can see i create this shape and then it will convert it into a neat shape you can also use handwriting to text tool so here you can see whatever i write it will convert it into the text you can also drag images from a website to your notes so for example i open this website in split screen and here I have this image and I want this image inside my notes so I will use my S Pen I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image to my notes and later if you want you can also edit this image as well same way you can also drag text so for example here I want to drag this text to my notes again I will use my S Pen I will start selecting this text so I will select it till here now again I will use my S Pen I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can also edit this text as well the next thing is this S Pen is also included with this tablet and this S Pen has a lot of functionality so it also supports palm rejection for example if I rest my hand on this tablet screen and I try to write something here you can see there are no spots on screen it also supports pressure sensitivity and tilt sensitivity as well so please note that this S Pen does not need any charging the next feature is about multiple users so I will bring down this quick panel and then I will select this user icon and here you can see I have different users so for example I will switch to workspace user and here I have a completely different setup with different apps and settings so same way you can create multiple users for your family and friends the next feature is about text to notes for example you are browsing through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save that information so just press this S Pen button and then start selecting the text so I will select this text till here and then it will show you this menu and here we have this option of add to note so I will select add to note so same text will be added to your notes so here you can see the same text is now available inside my notes and and on top it will also show you this link as well so you can directly access this website as well the next thing is you can also use text to AI feature as well so for example I will select this text so I will select this text till here and then it will show you this menu I will select these three dots and here we have different option so you can ask about this text from perplexity Claude chat GPT so for example I will select ask chat GPT and then it will automatically add this text to chat GPT and then from here you can write down your prompt and then you can ask about anything you can use this tablet for drawing so you can use apps like infinite painter concepts and sketchbook you can layer your work and experiment with different textures the tablet smooth screen response and pressure sensitive pen make your strokes feel natural you can also use this tablet for different 3d modeling apps for example here I'm using nomad scale and here you can see the S Pen is working perfectly fine in this app the next feature is about eye comfort shield so if you want to read for a longer period of time you can use eye comfort shield option so what you have to do first of all you have to bring down this quick panel and then from here you have to select this eye comfort shield option so I will press and hold it and then it will open eye comfort shield settings so first of all you have to turn it on from here and then you can also set the color temperature so for example I will set the color temperature and now I will open 
open my reading app and here you can see now I can read for a longer period of time. So this is how you can customize eye comfort shield. You can also use this tablet for digital planning. So here I'm using Penly app and it has this amazing digital planner. So here you can see on right side we have different months. You can jump to any month or you can also select any week. So for example, I want to open week two for August. So I can directly open it from here. And then you can also use this pen tool and now you can start writing on your planner. You can also open this to-do list option and then here we have this notes section. So you can select any template for example I will select this template and then you can start taking notes on your digital planner you can also use other tools as well the next feature is about study mode. So if I bring down this quick panel and then from here I will select modes and then I will select study mode. So everything will become grayscale, restriction applies on apps and do not disturb feature will turn on. And I can only use apps that are related to my studies. So this will be really helpful to focus on my studies. Now if you want to go back to normal tablet mode, again you have to bring down this quick panel and then from here you can turn off the study mode and then it will go back to normal tablet mode. So how to customize this study mode? First of all, you have to open your settings and then from here you have to scroll down and here we have this option of modes and routines. So you can select it and then you can customize your modes. You can add different widgets to your home screen. So for example, here I have this Spotify widget. I can directly access it through my home screen. I also have this habit tracker widget as well. So how to add these widgets? So first of all, you have to pinch your home screen and then here you can see we have this option of widgets. So you can select it. It will open this widget list and then from here you can select any of these widgets. And now you can see the gaming experience on Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Lite. I'm using the 128 GB variant with 6 GB of RAM. It supports expandable storage, runs on the Exynos 1380 chipset, features in 90 Hz refresh rate and is powered by 8000 mAh battery. So this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.